All right. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, we only have three friends left in this area. Pretty good. All right. What was I going to do? Oh, yes. I was going to fast travel to the confessor. Fast travel to the confessor. Ugh. And then go into the boat and do some leveling. Since we're going to do the shadow fight. And we want to be like as ready as we can be before we do that fight. Hello again, children. Five coins. Let's hear it. Those lost spirits wandering that shipwrecked maze all met their ends in the same fateful accident. Tragic, isn't it? To hear another secret. Your generosity, blah, blah, blah. Dually learned to la, la, la her problems away by imitating her children who would try to la, la, la their impending bedtimes away. Okay. Without thoughts, the world of imagination would be barren and empty, like it used to be long, long ago. Be grateful to them, Billy. Scullywags once was called was once called a fake fan for preferring new metal over black metal, whatever that means, and held a grudge ever since. Okay. Chomble's ambition makes him bristle at the thought of being called a beast of burden. The irony is, he works as a school bus driver. We know that. A word of advice. Be sure not to get on Moslo's bad side. He's an easygoing soul, but his temper is rather explosive. I feel like we really dodged a bullet by not fi fighting him. <laughs> Wish to hear another secret? Of course we do. Surprisingly, absolutely no one uwu dreams of becoming a world-renowned manga author and J-pop superstar. Jardom's obsession with coolness and his hatred of the rich stems from a childhood racked with poverty. That poor, poor child. Okay. Gonna have to fight him to get his sir. I maybe. Your other self is your opposite, Billy. Yet you are not so different, either. The sooner you both accept this, the better. Twax's colors change based on their mood. Their hide is normally dark green, but turns bright pink when they're feeling safe. Oh, that's why Twax is pink. That's nice. Dippy loves all forms of dance, but prefers tap dancing most, since she doesn't need to buy shoes. Her flippers are plenty tappy already. Okay. Whoop. The so-called glorious Rondo Dondo is not actually Italian. He just talks that way to try and make himself sound more important. <laughs> Criticize Shelikin's kleptomania all you want, but he's well read for such a scam. His accent comes from binge reading history books on piracy. Oh my god. Woggle likes hiding in dark places. Not to lure them with her shinies, but just so they don't see her face. Poor girl has horrendous self-esteem. So if there's 60 secrets plus uh, secrets for every that's a five, it's probably like 600, five to 600 coins worth of stuff. Uh, Amber Echo Conscious, Jacopy regularly volunteers for community service using her antlers to impale stray wrappers and bits of littered trash. Another secret. Ever wonder why Trigor wears that jacket? He collects leather coats and thinks they make him look tough. Debatable, I'd say. Did you know that Leviathan used to be infatuated with that pink ghost you met deep beneath the sea? Back when she was, well, alive. I, again. I, again. The Leviathan is the personification of our father. I'm telling you. Gumpus sounds like he's always crying and sniffling, but in truth, those allergies of his must be getting worse with age. Pimbo got his peg leg after he was injured while playing quarterback during a football game. He's kept it since, claiming it makes him alpha <laughs> Okay. Secret to old Gargondo's ostentatious vocabulary is a thesaurus tucked under his hat, which he reads from when no one is looking. Rude. Cahoots uses her staff as a walking stick. 
blackboard pointer, or a disciplinary instrument, depending on her classroom's needs. <laughs> That's fair. Flocka has a thing for well-hatted hunks, especially if they're wearing pork pies, humbergs, or bowlers. Fedoras, however, not so much. Mana is playing in the hallway. Somebody's playing in the hallway. You can tell if Kamamelon is lying based on how much she giggles while speaking. Maybe that will help you avoid some of her mischief. Kabushi's peculiar manner of speaking comes from his love of King Arthur myths and fantasy novels. He's geekier than he looks. Webble's interactive spiderweb sculptures constantly get mistaken for traps. What woe to be a misunderstood struggling artist. If only Clunky could get his temper under, that temper of his under control. He can even give Spirelli a run for his money when it comes to wordplay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Believe it or not, Bombus is a big softie under that hard shell. He becomes a total lamp whenever his wife, DeWilly, snaps at him. Oh, it's, his, it's her husband. Okay. Okay. Petticott brags about her beauty and brains, but I admire her work ethic most of all. Being a model and an astrophysicist takes hard work. You might find Lunaris a bit dramatic, but after the string of bad luck she's had up till now, I don't blame her be for being so melancholy. Okay. Hmm? My oh my, that's rather troubling. Huh? What is it? It seems I have no more rumors left to share. I've offered you each and every single secret I know. You were very avid for confessions, it seems. Really? Oh, jeez. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, the good news is, now you have plenty of sins to confess, don't you? Lust for gossip is quite the vice, after all. Huh? No way! Come on, Billy, let's get out of here before this dude starts guilt-tripping us. Achievement get. <coughs> Done. <laughs> all right. So that's one thing done. That took forever. And all of our money. Are we broke now? We're broke now. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so... We've got... Because I can't stand the, the exclamation points. We need another record for her. We don't have it. So... All of these characters are level 3. All of these characters are level 3, except her, because she needs a record. <clears throat> um, we do... Won't toss... Zin, 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 zin. We need to do... Spider... Ricky Beaky and get that unlocked. Yeah, we just need to, uh, we need to get to level twos for the ones that we can, either with fish or with other things. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Another 30 minutes of me reading constantly. I'm sure it's fine. I have to get a refill. I should have gotten a refill on my break. Um. <clears throat> I think I have enough thoughts, maybe, to, um, do a, uh, thingy, too. Yep. Until next time, user. Oh, it's a, it's a boat cosmetic. Hi, Mana. Uh, it's a boat cosmetic for the, um, for the sanctuary room. Not many more upgrades for the thought machine. I mean, I'm only missing, like, for the whole game. One, two, three, four. I'm missing four thoughts from the whole game. One in Dino Land... One in Fright Frost, and two in the Sanctum of Self. The four it wants is the final upgrade. 
Yes. Which, once we're done with the Sanctum of Self part, this part that we're doing, that is when I'm going to go thought hunting. Because <clears throat> we'll be close to end game. Is reality optional? No. Then why are you spending so much time here, Billy? Roasted. They say when you can bring a seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Is that because it's trying to talk to you? Remember, you can't hide in the world of imagination forever, no matter how badly you want to. Okay, Billy? <clears throat> Did you know the opposite of a waterfall is a firefly? I actually like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Also, Ocean is calling through his shell phone. That's pretty great. <laughs> All right, so we know we need to do cahoots. What do you want, a book? Yes. If my aim is to provide more engaging, less intimidating education, I must first educate myself. Might I peruse your library? Yeah, okay, sure. Huh, I know that I'm missing items for some people. I could do the math and figure out exactly how many items I'm missing. Actually, we're gonna do that before I give her anything. Let's do some math, shall we? Gross. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23. <clears throat> 23, and then keep track of that number, 23, because I'm going to be doing other things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I'm missing eight shiny. 32 because the second... Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. She was the first one I counted. She was the first one I counted. So. Eight. I'm missing eight shinies. That's fine. I just wanted to get an idea of how many... Because we're about to hit the cleanup phase where I'm going and, like, finding everything and all this and whatever. Um, so that's... Yeah, it's good to know how many shinies we're missing. Um, so anyway, you want a book. You can have one. <laughs> Miss Cahoots, you're already done reading the book we got you, but it looked so complicated. Three friends, eight shinies, four thoughts. Yeah, right, and that's without me actually trying to, trying to track things down. Quite contrary to your friendship, Pythagorean trigonometry is rather elementary for a well-read genius such as myself. However, reviewing these basic fundamentals will play a key role in my master plan, making everyone in the world as intelligent as I. Okay, first off, I don't think any of that is basic. And second, has making people super smart seriously been your plan this whole time? Of course. Admittedly, my highly corrective prescriptive methodology was perhaps a tad aggressive when I was dechromatized, but if I help others achieve their full intellectual potential by fixing every single mistake they make, they're sure to become as wise as I. Hoot. And once that happens, I'll finally be a renowned professor, beloved by all her students. Truly a flawless ploy, wouldn't you say? What do I say? I say it's impressive how such a smart bird could have such a stupid idea. I think Rodrigo's trying to say you shouldn't be so hard on others for making mistakes. Chances are it'll only frustrate them. You're clearly no slouch when it comes to book smarts, but maybe you use more heart smarts to understand their feelings? Hoot. Emotional intelligence? I admit I'm unfamiliar with the field. But perhaps it could improve my teaching. Thanks for the suggestion. All 
Alright, that's two. Da -da 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 -da. You're level two, you're level two. You are not. I'll do you last because your accent's the easiest and it's going to make me southern for the rest, of, for like at least a few minutes. So let's do these other ones. <laughs> Instructions unclear, learn heart surgery. Alright, we'll do the spider. Does French carry any art supplies? I'd love to partake in the simple joy of finger painting. Or, well, eight legged painting. Paint I have. It's good to see you in a better mood, Webble. Painting must be doing wonders for your heart. That it is. I can't tell you how energized I feel enjoying art instead of driving myself skittery, trying to forcefully weave a masterpiece. I bet. Though I'm still confused as to why you were that obsessed with making a masterpiece to begin with. W well, um, at the risk of sounding shallow for an artist, I wanted to become immortal. Think of it this way. Nothing lasts forever. And through the, though the ephemeral is beautiful, the thought of it all ending someday is frightening. But art, especially a masterpiece, is different. The creations and emotions those work inspire can endure for generations. So I became driven to spin a thread that would outlast my life. A masterpiece that would never be forgotten. Unlike my life. Poor Pebble. You must have been putting so much pressure on yourself. No wonder you were agitated. I know. But even though I wish to be the proud maker of a masterpiece someday, I won't torture myself any longer. Art shouldn't be a burden. It should be a passion. And that it, and it is that very passion that will help me weave a real masterpiece someday. <laughs> Great idea, Wibble dear. We might not all be artists, but we'll help and cheer you on however we can. Hey, we're not fighting over the flu. Absolutely not. No brawling. No brawling. No floof brawling. Mona, there's a floof right back there that is empty. She's like, really? You really gonna point point the floor at the floor floof and tell me to lay in the floor floof? I am. I am indeed, lady. Okay. <clears throat> Aha! That's it! A trophy! That'll show those maysayers how special my life really is. Now, where can I find one of those? In my inventory. That's where you can find one of those. Thank you all so much for the trophy present. It really makes me feel like a special friend of yours. You're welcome, dude. Though I'll be honest, I can't quite wrap my head or uh, arm, I guess, around why you want to be special. If I'm being super duper honest, it's because I'm scared that if I'm just normal, I'll be forgotten. Or my life will be meaningless. <laughs> I have big dreams, but I'm still just another worker bee among thousands, and I'm sick of being a nameless gog in the honey-making machine. So that's why you were trying to get everyone's attention. You wanted them all to think you were important. That's right. And since I don't have any skills that make me stand out, I figured the only way solution was to be seen as special. But I'm obviously not. And even though you won't make me feel special, it doesn't change the facts. I'm just a boring nobody. Bye. And sometimes I wonder if I should just stop wasting precious time and give up on being special or happy. But, Bunglebee, there's no need to give up on happiness. You don't have to be special or famous to enjoy life. Exactly. In fact, would you two stop fighting? <laughs> Discovering things that make you happy might even help you discover things that make you special, you know? <clears throat> Seriously? I had no idea it was so easy. Okay, then. I'm going to commit myself to being happy so I can become truly special. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you? I tried so hard to keep sad facts out of my life, I pushed away those I loved most, too. What gift could prove I care for them with all my heart? A paper heart? You okay there, Flowerhead? You seem a little, uh, skittish. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm just working up the courage to face scary facts head on instead of la-la-lawing them away like before. But Billy and Rodrigo mentioned you were nervous about that. But are facts really that scary? Yes. <clears throat> of course they are. They're facts. You can't argue with them, no matter how scary or unpleasant they are. That's terrifying. And the world is full of spooky facts. Crime, poverty, global warming, my favorite soap opera's cancellation, all equally horrific. The more scary facts you know, the more horrible things in the world you notice, and the harder it is to be happy. Part of me still believes that. 
But going out of your way to ignore scary facts can be dangerous. It can even hurt the people you want to protect. So, I decided to start learning about the scary things I've avoided until now. But I need to brace myself for being miserable. Do Willie, really, dear. Learning to accept facts won't make you sadder in the long run. It'll make you happier. Harsh truths aren't always easy to accept, but they're not always frightening either. Scary. Look, facts are scary. Sometimes they even teach us new ways to be safe or happy. R really? That's wonderful news. I feel braver about facing the truth already. Thank you so much for being as kind and caring as I want to be. Well, that's going to be another purple. That's nice. Uh, and then you. Hey, not jerkwads. I found a harmless alternative lying. Pranks! I need a whoopee cushion to get started, so find me one. <laughs> another prankster, of course. <laughs> I had no people, no idea people actually liked pranks. I definitely don't feel that way about lies. If only I'd learned about the power of whoopee cushions sooner. I never would have started lying if I did. That is a shame. You'd have been way easier to recolor if you weren't being such an obnoxious liar. Rodrigo, be polite. I'm sure Miss Camomile had a good reason to behave that way. Eh, I don't know if I'd call it a good reason, but... It was basically just a self-confidence thing. I don't have any special skills or talents like the rest of you not jerkwads. I often feel out of place because of that. But then I discovered my knack for fibbing. The lies I told made me seem cooler than I really was. It got me lots of attention. <laughs> Although, that attention was often short-lived. People would get angry or ignore me even more than before. Which is not... <laughs> But now everyone knows you're more than just a liar, dear. They know you're creative, quick-witted, and full of energy. And now that everyone knows what the real you is like, they all love you. So there's no need to lie anymore. <laughs> yep. I was worried I'd have to lie forever to make people care about me for a while, but what a relief. You can only sit there if you're not going to cause fights. Yeah, you heard me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I need your second. Wait, where's the thing, the statue that I unlocked? Oh, it's right there. Jeez. Okay. I need your level two. Hey, I need something I can be the best at and share with other people. Like a multiplayer game. Where can I find one? Do I have any more video games? I might be out of video games. I'm out of video games. So you will get fish. Because I actually need your level two. <clears throat> hmm. can, can these be the best candies of all time? In that case, they're mine, you hear me? All oh, mine, gimme, gimme, gimme! What I meant to say was, uh, thanks for sharing. Mm? <laughs> Alright, I don't think I leveled Gonk because I think I needed, um, I needed uh, something I didn't have. No, no, Gonk's level 2. Okay, the only one who's not level 2 is the, the one that's going to give me my accent for a few minutes. And then we can go out and we can fight Shadow. I'm excited. <clears throat> I need to gussy up my feathers with a flowery flourish to say on top of my game. Be a dear and kindly fetch me a bouquet, won't you, honey? Yep. Here you go. Well, shucks. I thought I was done back and forth beauty and forth and beauty and brains, but here I am getting stuck in the same old rut. I'm sorry, Huns. <clears throat> it's all right, Miss Petticoat. We're not angry at all. If anything, we're worried you keep putting so much pressure on yourself. Well, you can't turn coal into diamonds without a bit of pressure. And a gal as gorgeous and genius as me is quite the precious stone. Plus, when you're this breathtakingly bright, you always have eyes on you. So you always need to look the look the... <laughs> need to look the look the look and talk the talk. 
I guess. Still, you shouldn't torture yourself to please others. Just please yourself, you know? I know, sweet thing. But there's a bit of burr in my sa a bit of a burr in my saddle when it comes to that plan. And the problem is that I'm a bit of an overachiever. I'm like channeling this bird right now. No matter how sharp I wet my wit, or how gaudy my glamour gets, I never feel proud. Only that I fall short somehow. That I need to improve. Maybe it's because I'm a two-gallon woman with three gallons of ambition in her. Or maybe I'm just impossible to please. But it hurts, hun. I'm proud of both halves of who I am. But I can't get myself to appreciate the whole they form. I'm tired of failing to impress my own self. <clears throat> well, I think you might need to try loving yourself instead of impressing yourself, Petticoat dear. Having high expectations isn't wrong, but if you never take the time to appreciate the progress you've made, you'll never be happy. That sounds so easy, it's suspicious as snake oil. But loosening up my high-strung expectations does sound like a good idea. I'll give it a try. It's getting a little cold in here. My feet are getting cold. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it ha it is getting on toward the time when the... Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so everything's going to be slightly southern for probably 10 minutes. Until I can get my accent back under control. <laughs> okay. Um Right. That's all the that's all of them at level 2, I believe. 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2. two. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying. No. Oh, actually. If I was going to do a tongue twister, I would do my favorite tongue twister, and let's see if I can do it. Um, <clears throat> she stood upon the balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping while amicably welcoming him in. That is my favorite uh, tongue twister. <laughs> but I can't think about it while I'm doing it, because if I think about what I'm saying, then, I, I, then I'm like, blah, 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 blah. But I learned that one when I was in high school, and it's one of my favorites. Let me go away, mouse pointer. Okay. It's a big moment. <clears throat> Watch, there's like a whole a whole nother dungeon uh, after this door, and that's more stuff to do. And Good thing we went and leveled. Wow. This place is beautiful. I can see the whole world of imagination up here. Yeah. The one thing I can't see is that jerk version of you. I thought they wanted to fight, but they must be a coward. You never listen, do you? I told you already. I'm not hiding. I'm right behind you, Billy. <laughs> Oh, this music. So you're Billy's shadow, huh? Ugh, I can't wait to get you out of that Leviathan costume and back into Billy's heart. Meh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, loser. Billy doesn't want me back. Not when they got rid of me in the first place. Excuse me? No, I didn't. I didn't even know you existed. Oh, yes, you did, Billy. You always knew. The Leviathan did, too. That's why he unleashed his curse on this stupid world of yours. He knew you were just using this place to hide. Hiding from the fact that deep down, you're nothing but a gross little rainbow creep. <clears throat> no, no! You don't know me. And I don't have to listen to you. Because you're just a stupid shadow. A stupid shadow, eh? Well, tell me something, other me. Could a stupid shadow do this? <laughs> Jiro! Wait, what? You jerk! What'd you do to Jiro? Can't you tell? I did what other me has been doing this whole time. I helped Jiro find their true colors. 
Better watch out, Billy. I'm not your best friend anymore. I'm your worst enemy. <clears throat> what? Surprised I can talk? Of course I can. I just didn't want to. Not to a loser like you. <laughs> Refuse to leave things this way. Refuse this bad attitude. Refuse to fight. I'm not going to fight you, Jiro. You're my oldest friend. And you've always been there for me. You're a good boy. Remember? I'm a good boy? Me? Oh, this is great. This is... Wait, no. Focus, Jiro. Focus. Don't get distracted. Uh, Alright, so we can hit him in the back. Jiro's in the front row. I think we have to take out his color. This music's really good. Um, Powers up with friends in lane. I think that's going to be a good fit. His, his other symbol is probably the red. Because that was the wrong one. I hit the wrong one. That's fine. Um, His other symbol is probably the red. Because that's his symbol. So... Let's do that. And then Billy? Billy probably uses a little bit of everything, actually. So let's Let's do Whisper. Let's do you know, that. Let's do this. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're just going to see what happens. One of everything. Zero's gonna hit me and it's gonna hurt. Shadow Billy's gonna hit me and oh, Shadow Billy's gonna uncolor it. No, not colors. How can my only weakness? How can this be? Just kidding. <laughs> what? Why didn't I recolor you? I told you, didn't I? I'm the part of you that'll always be black and white. I never had any colors and never will. <laughs> Can't recolor them at all? How are we supposed to win? Ouch. Um, I think coloring Jiro and then... Like, I, I think in the end we're not going to end up fighting him. Like, that's... We're gonna end up not fighting him, and that's gonna be how we win. I don't know. This uh, this fight will have two phases, just like they always do. So... Be reasonably... So I like your positivity. I bet you'll be really fun to hang out with once you get your colors back. I know you're just trying to trick me. But it's working! I feel the same way about you, Billy. Woof! Oh, that's not one of his symbols. Interesting. Okay. It's good to know. All right, we need some morale rest restoration right now. All right. Um. Oh, let's see. I think just uncovering his colors is probably going to be a good strategy for us. I really wish we could add more into Zero, but <clears throat> we're not going to be able to do that. Um, they do them all in one turn. I think that's what's going to end up happening. We have to do all of it in one turn, which we can do. We just have to get very lucky, and I am actually very glad that we did more powering up. 
I'm very glad we did more powering up. Um, we need more moons. We know that. And then we need this symbol too. So that'll be good. Um, let me see if I have another. Uh, I don't have another heal. We're actually gonna. I'm gonna morale heal as much as I can because I feel like that's gonna end up being a real problem. Um. Oh, empathetic reveals an enemy's color. What are we not? We haven't uncovered this yet, so let's do that. Um. Kiwi's gonna give us a heal, so we're gonna do a, a Kiwi heal. And then. Booster. And. I haven't done any blues. Let's do moons. Alright. I'm trapped, I'm trapped! <laughs> I was so screwed. Alright. It was very close. I did need red. Had a feeling. Okay. That'll expose those. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna take colors out. That's fine. You're still trying to recolor me? Sheesh. This would be sad if it wasn't so hilarious. <laughs> Billy, dearest. You cannot let Loathing get the best of you. Loathing drove your other self away to begin with. If this self of yours is meant to stay black and white, perhaps your key to victory is to keep them that way? All right, so we don't attack him at all. We're not gonna attack him at all. That's our plan. We're not gonna attack him at all. We're gonna talk to uh, we're gonna talk to Jiro, and we're not gonna talk. We're not gonna attack uh, Shadow Billy at all. It can be scary to put your trust in someone else, but I bet your friends feel empowered by that faith. You really think so, Billy? What a relief. See, I've always tried being a good boy, but sometimes being a good boy means being mean shield. Fascinating. Okay. That's gonna summon Viki Yeah, you know, it's gonna summon the other guy, though. Let's do Twax. Uh, Twax, let's do you. I don't know what that last symbol is. Feels like it's a green or something. Let's just do, let's do that. And, hmm, that's hard. Like we don't need to, we don't want to attack them, but we also, we need the morale heal, like, right? Like I need a morale heal. I should have put Weber in the front, but I didn't think about it. Um. could fail the mini game. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is that is a yeah, that's a good point. It's so weird to me to fail mini games, so. Uh all right. Let's see. Power Oh, she has powers up when alone in lane. That's nice. Uh da -da -da. extra friendly token. This is empathetic. No. I need heals. Hi, buddy. You want to get into the bed? Hi. I know, Mana. Hi. No, Mama's playing over today. I know, life's hard. Uh. Okay, there's at least one. Do 
I have another one? I don't have another one. So I guess I'll do empathetic. Um, just so I can uh, uncover something. And then I will just fail those two. Oh, that gave me zero. Oh my god. Okay. So we're going to fail this. Alright. I think that's all. I think that's it. That is it! That's right! The real Billy is a good Billy! Just like the real me is a good boy! Woof 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 woof! Woof? Look! And then we failed this. <laughs> What's wrong, coward? You didn't even try to recolor me that time. Have you given up already? Just pasted over their insecurities with colors again, huh? Oh well. Plenty more black and white badness where that came from. That jerk. As soon as we save a friend, Shadow Yu takes over another. What are we supposed to do, Billy? Well, that one's a lot better than Shiro was. Uh, talk. I want to understand. Won't you tell me how I can make it up to you? I want to understand, not fight. Too bad, Billy. You wouldn't understand me, even if you tried. Besides, I really want to fight you. Alright, so... Uh, I really want a um, morale heal in the front. We're going to have to roll anyway. We don't have enough um, green. Yeah, we definitely want to shuffle. And now Sophie's scratching his nails in the back. Everybody's lurking. Sass effects. Inspired. Towers up when alone. Oh, Kiwi's got a heal. Here we go. Alright, and then that gives me... Here. And here. Okay. I mean, if I don't screw it up, then that'll be fine. Um, let me see if I can find another morale heal that I can fail the minigame. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, that. And... Yeah, that's good. Alright. I could shuffle again, try to find one. Well, it doesn't hurt anything. I like the more that you shuffle, the faster the shuffle gets. Okay, I didn't get another one. So that's fine. We're good to go. I'm going to just fail this. Kiwis is, uh, Kiwis is the important one. Oh no, it's this one. Ah. Bam. Hey, why aren't you trying to recolor me? There's no point if you don't fight back. I'm right here, wide open. Attack! No. You're gonna have to give up sooner or later, other me. And if you don't, I'm gonna have your pals make you give up. No. I refuse. Question resemblance ability. Point out resemblance ability. Design. Point out. You know, maybe you are a bit like Billy in a twisted kind of way. Are you kidding? I'm nothing like that rainbow creep. I'm better than them. Ouch. <sighs> Annoying. Alright, so we need green. We need clovers. Pluses. 
Okay, the fact that we need pluses means I really want the heal that I have, but I'm not going to reroll for heals when we have the tokens we need. Or we have some of them anyway. Um, draws an extra token. That's good. Uh, and then we need pluses anyway. And then let's do uh, this one. Okay. Um, shuffle for morale heals. There's one. Oh, but it's green. We need that. No, well, maybe we won't. Do I have another one? No. Let's go ahead. It's fine. Do 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 do. And then this one. And we'll do one more shuffle because we're gonna need different tiles next time. Cool. All right. We failed this one. There we go. I was like, wait, if I'm not moving, it's it's not failing. Nice. Not that big of a hit. Stupid rainbow creep. Why do you always ignore me like this? I'm right here. Pay attention to me. I don't want you to hate me. Why do you hate me? I don't want you to hate me. I want you to get along with me. Even if you're black and white. I bet you're full of kindness. Just like me. Full of kindness? Blech! I want nothing to do with that colorful nonsense. I'm glad not to be a rainbow creep like you. Ouch. Alright. Uh... Ooh, ooh. And then the other two lanes just need to be heels. Although I am going to put a little bit more in this lane just in case. Restores morale. Okay. And then if we have it Here we go. All right. Let's do it. I wonder if the um I wonder if the uh ones that it takes are random. After zero, of course. The most mini games I've ever intentionally failed. Ever. Don't get angry at me for telling the truth. It's not my fault you're a selfish, unlikable little rainbow creep. <laughs> You. This is your fault, isn't it? Fine. I'll deal with you first. Take this! Oh! Oh no! Mother Prisma, are you okay? Stay with us, please! <laughs> it seems I cannot help you any longer. Billy, my dear. I'm afraid I only have time for one final lesson. We cannot choose who we are, but we can choose who we become once we learn to accept every part of ourselves. Because all those different parts, 
both the good and the bad ones. They make us who we are. They make you, you, Billy. You, you monster. How could you do this? She wanted to help you. Monster? Me? But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I was just... I was scared, and I... And I... No! This is your fault, other me. You should have known better than to try helping me. Because no one can help monsters. Phase 2! Shit. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Well, that's a jam. It's the heart. Chased me all the way up here, huh? You must really hate me. Good. That hate just makes me stronger. <laughs> I know it does. That's why things got this bad in the first place, isn't it? And that's why I don't want to hate you anymore. It's time for me to make things right and help you, not fix you. Oh, yeah? And how do you plan on doing that? You can't ignore me or recolor me. What other options do you have, creep? I'm going to do what I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to accept you. Accept me? What, what are you talking about? All this time, I thought you were everything wrong with me. That I had to beat you or get rid of you to be happy. But treating you like a monster just made us both feel worse. Because you're not my enemy. You're part of who I am. Part of my true colors. Hi, buddy. Do you want to eat? So I'm not going to try changing or fighting you anymore. I'm going to treat you like a friend and accept you for who for who we are. Come on. God, your food is so stinky, son. There you go. There you go. You... You can't do that. No one can accept me. No one can accept us. I'll make you hate me if it's the last thing I do, creep. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Joro? Joro? What are you doing? Woof! Woof woof! Woof woof! Sounds like he wants to help. Should we let him take the lead then? He might have a plan, you know. Deliver, deliver an inspiring speech. Slobber all over Billy's face. Give Shadow Billy puppy dog eyes or an eye. Slobber all over Billy's face. Oh, that's that's probably a heel, actually. Uh, Shadow Billy puppy dog eyes. Yeah. No matter what I do, you won't stop trying to be nice to me? Is this what unconditional love feels like? All right. We gotta take out the owl in the front first. Owl in the front. Okay, and then green and okay. What do we have right now? I don't know if we get stars. Or if we get the other. Let's find out. Stars. Eh. Well, it was worth a shot. Alright. No moons. Uh, let's do... Let's do view for moons. Um... We don't need a morale heal yet, so... Let's do you. 
And Kalob's in the back. Or, or, yeah, I'll put him behind you. Wham bam! Wham bam! All right, there you go, buddy. I'll put your food back after I pick all of the bits that you spit all over my keyboard off. Oh my God. Old man cat. Old man cat. It's a life with old man cat. All right. Here you go, sir. Here, you want this little bit? Yeah, here. You just, you eat that. Eat that little bit. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's do it. Alright, at least we got something. Oh my goodness. The paddle was so small. <laughs> Alright, there's one. I know better than to point out your mistakes, dear student, especially when they don't detract from what an A plus individual you are. Hoot. Ah. So that's what we have to do. W what's going on? What did that color cretin just do to me? <laughs> they accepted me for who I am, meaning they accepted you too. And since it filled my heart with happiness, you get the idea. I might not be able to accept you all by myself yet, but if I can love my friends despite their flaws, they can do the same for me. W what? No way. None of them can actually accept the real us. That, that's impossible. All right, we're going to take a big hit. We're going to have zero silver on our face <laughs> um, to see if that is a heal, just because we're going to get triple hit. Okay, as soon as we take one down, he, he summons another. That's good to know. Oh, we don't have zero this time. Do you really want to be hated? Because I'd much, much, much rather understand you. And I bet if you understood me too, neither of us would be scared anymore. Shut up! I'm not scared of you. I'm just sick of being hated. W wait, no! Ignore that! <laughs> Alright, um... What do I have? What do I need? What do I have? What do I need? Okay. We're gonna need shell. We're gonna need. I'm gonna need a morale heal, is what I'm gonna need. I need at least one. We've got Kiwi. I don't need Kiwi. Oh no, I can use Kiwi in the middle. Cool. Okay. Kiwi in the middle, and then. You right behind him. We're gonna need. Um, shields. Shields and one moon. I'm gonna have to spin for the moon. Let's do twax. Oh, a star. Man, so, so near yet so far. Um, get another shield in there. What do I have in these? Okay. Uh,. Ooh. Um. All right. Theoretically, if I don't screw up, that should be good. Um, but I do need to spin because I need moons. There we go. One moon for the back. Thank you. 
All right, let's see what happens. There's Globs. Oi, you're the one who told me not to wallow, remember? So start believing us when we tell you you're the bee's knees, pronto, see? Why? Why do they all accept you? Even you didn't accept yourself, Billy. That's why you got rid of me. And if they accept you, despite knowing I exist, does that mean they accept me too? Impossible. <laughs> Are we gonna have to do every single one of our friends? Because that's a lot. I know a thing or two about wanting to hide things from the world. But you didn't judge my feathers, so I won't judge you either. This doesn't make sense. How can these stupid creatures care about us so much? About me? You used to hate me, Billy. Hate me so much that we split apart. Do you really want to make amends that badly? Yes. All right. And that's a triad. Do not let such doubts assail the Esquire. True heroes such as we believe in themselves and are beloved by everyone. Boom. Ouch. And there's three more. Oh, that's a big one in the front. Zero. Woof, woof, woof. You want to help again? Wow, thanks, Zero. You're the best. Uh, slobber all over Billy's face. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Zero? Hey, I love you too, boy. But that tickles. <laughs> big fat morale heal. Oh, okay. So Twax is going to be the one that's going to be the easiest target, even though, oh no, Twax has four that are different. Um, yeah, I think four Agoro up in the top is going to be our answer here. Because I think we only need one. So that's the one we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on four Agoro in the top. Um, you have a really easy mini game, So we're going to choose you. Um... I don't think we can color him until the heart is full. Um, and I actually don't know if we can, like, it may be that we don't color him at all. I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. My brain is, like, going in 4,000 different directions at once. Uh, where are we? So we need that, and then we need green. And then we need uh, more green. All right. So, that should be good. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do you here, and then this. Alright, we didn't do a morale heal, but I'm hopefully I don't regret that. Hopefully I don't regret that. Okay. We're gonna shuffle so that we're ready for next round. Alright, here we go. Gotcha. All right, let's see what happens. Perfection is a futile pursuit, Billy. Puff up your chest as proudly as I would. 
without shame for your defining flaws, Ribbit. I get it now. You're not trying to hurt me or change me. You're just trying to make things right. Hear me out instead of shunning me. Because we both want to be our true selves again, don't we? Fine. You've shown me what you're made of, other me. I accept you. There it is. Also, pulling, but pulling your chest open is probably not <clears throat> great. Um, you did it, Billy. You accepted your other self, and your other self accepted you. How do you feel? Strange. I don't feel any stronger, but I feel happier. Like my heart has more true colors than ever. Duh, that's because I'm in there now, too. With me in your heart, we're better than ever. <laughs> B but don't expect me to play along with your sappy friendship shtick. We might accept each other now, but I'm still me, got it? So here's the deal. I give you the yellow core, and you don't try roping me into any love and kindness crud. Got it? <laughs> okay. Sure. Deal. And now, we've got all three color cores. With this, we're finally ready. Ready to take on that no-good leviathan and save the world once and for all. Oh, that you are, dearies. I'm so proud of you. Though I cannot offer much more help, I can open the way for you. Cross the threshold and you shall find the ruins of Star Harbor, as well as the one responsible for this color colorless curse. Even armed with the color cores and your many friends, defeating the Leviathan won't be easy. Make sure you're well prepared, dearie. I will. Thanks for everything, Mother Prisma. You too, other me. We couldn't have done this without you. New upgrade. One move per turn. Confront the Leviathan. That is the door. Okay. So, if I was going to continue this game on a later stream, this would be a good place to stop. But guess what? <laughs> That's not what we're doing today. So... You've overcome many challenges with flying colors, Billy dear, but your greatest challenge yet awaits. Now, you must do the impossible. You must not only find a way to defeat the Leviathan, but perhaps a way to empathize with him as well. Empathize? Are you kidding? That dude's a monster. There's no way we can do that. Yeah, even if I could, I don't want to. He's hurt so many people and been so mean. He doesn't deserve empathy. Perhaps not. But perhaps that, too, is why you must seek to understand him, most of all. I am not claiming he deserves forgiveness, let alone that his reasons to curse the world were the slightest bit valid. But if you cast him aside without even trying to understand his point of view, won't you be doing the same to him as he did to you, Billy? Dot, dot, dot. Well, when you put it like that, maybe we can try to be sympathetic. But I'm still going to bop him good. Got it? Oh, I'm sure you will, Rodrigo. Now, enough chit-chat. You and your friends have a world to save. <clears throat> uh, you didn't give me the yellow core. It's still your eye. What are you talking to me all friendly-like for? I thought I told you I didn't want anything to do with your lovey-dovey nonsense. We were just saying hi. Take it easy, will you? I thought being accepted by Billy was supposed to make you nicer. It did make me nicer, twit. That it doesn't change the fact that I'm a walking lump of Billy's doubt and grudges. I always will be, too. <laughs> That's true. But I won't pretend you don't exist anymore. That'll make things much better for both of us. Tell me about it, me. I know what happened to Mom and the way Dad was acting. Made things rough back then, but sheesh. You never told anyone how you really felt. You didn't even admit it to yourself. You just kept pretending your negative feelings away. 
If you would have just accepted all of your true colors from the start, I wouldn't have gotten mad at you for filling me with self-loathing. Jerk. That's why I was so glad the world got cursed at the Star Parade. It meant you'd finally have to confront me and your true feelings. Yeah, I'm really sorry. You didn't deserve to suffer just because I was afraid to tell the truth. But from now on, I'm going to be proud of my true colors. And I'm going to treat you with the respect you deserve, other me. Promise. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Means a lot to finally hear you say that. I'll make sure to treat you better, too. Wait, why'd I say that? Did you losers infect me with lovey-dovey nonsense already? Blech, get out of here before it gets worse. That's pretty funny. Oh, actually, this is a good time for break, though. <clears throat> so, things that we're going to do. Hi, hi, Otter. So, when we come back from break... Well, these things are all filled in now, I think. Yep. Um, we have three more friends to find in the Sanctum itself, so we have to do that. Um, we gotta get everybody to level three. Um, lot of reading. Lot of reading. We have to get everybody to level three. We have to find the trinkets that we're missing. Um, obtained by helping my other self proof that my flaws and doubts don't define me infinite rainbow fuel oh yeah okay that's pretty sweet that's pretty sweet <laughs> honestly that's pretty sweet um yeah uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that souvenir same for self right okay so we gotta find these four thoughts we gotta find our three friends that we're missing. So we have to find the eight thingamadees that we're missing. Uh, I am sure they are in fish pools, and there's probably a few uh, cookies that we've missed. Um, but the fish pools, I will say that they respawn when you fast travel. So we'll be able to make them spawn really, really quickly to get all of that. Because we'll be doing those before we try to level everybody. Um, when we get to that point, when we're leveling all of these characters up to three, I will let chat decide if you want me to read everything that they say or if you want me to paraphrase it because I speed read the chunk and then paraphrase what they're saying. It's up to you because it's going to take probably 45 minutes to level all of these creatures and read all of their stories. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm in it for the long haul. So we'll we'll make that decision when we get to it. We have to find things first, and we have fights. We have three fights to do, at least. So we will pause it here. Um, figure out where the other friends are that we're missing, uh -huh. and we have the rainbow fuel. So now we can scuttle around at the ends of the world, finding all these things. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, I will take my five, uh, stretch my legs. I have to get more water because I am dry. And then I will come back and I will start working on this and we will get all this cleanup done. And then it will be time. It will be time for the final battle to confront the Leviathan. We are so close. We are so close. All right. I will be back in five minutes. Make sure you stretch your legs and all that good stuff. So I will be right back. <laughs> 